Hello, this is your boy Nate here, and we are to go up masses. So I get the Ruby S5 Plus versus the Shark i2 self emptying bin. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and take these two apart and compare how they work. Alright, I need a little help from my buddy here, so I gotta look for sparkles. Let's see, is he in here? Nope, is he in here? Hey, I'm trying to speak yep, here. I think I hear something. Let me uh, check. Go away, no sparkles. one's here. Do you wanna come out? Cat and unicorn just sleep. Leave me alone. Oh hi, I'm Sparkles. How are you guys doing? Now can I sleep now? Shut my lid, please. What did I just say? Just shut my lid. I don't want to talk to you guys. Bye. Come on, Sparkles. I'll give you a treat if you help me out with this trick. I don't feel like doing any magic tricks today. Go away. I'll give you some Skittles. I don't want Skittles. I want Lucky Charms. Okay. He's willing to help me out today. Thank you, Sparkles. You're the best match for Unicorn. And you're the worst YouTuber I've seen in my life. Okay, can you help me today? Yeah, what do you want? I just need you to take apart the self-emptying bin for me, alright? I'm a magical unicorn. I can give you a million dollars. I can do anything else. But you want me to do a simple, mediocre task? Okay. Alright, let's Here count. we go. One, two, three. Wow, you're the best sparkles in the whole world. Thank you. Now, where are my lucky charms? Okay, you can uh, sit over there. Thanks. Hey, buddy, you promised lucky charms. Now you're gonna shove me back in a box? You're such a mean person. Okay. So, uh, thank you Spuggers for helping me uh, take this bit apart for me. So I'm actually going to show you guys this one on camera. Okay, so unlike the Roomba series, it doesn't use these disposable bags. It's actually a bag with a system. So in order to empty out, all you have to do is press a button up top here. Lifts right up. And you can see you have an indicator right there, which is nice for seeing how much dirt you have. Now, the bin itself is really easy to open. There's a button right here that allows you to empty out in a trash can. And of course, doing this on camera, it's not so easy. Okay folks, so look at that. Look at all the dirt. I had this robot running on low power mode to do a house cleaning and this is how much dirt it picked up. It actually did a really good job. I still have to do about nine more cleaning runs before I have a map created, but once I have a map created, I'll definitely show you the smart mapping. And that's basically what's inside. So there's nothing too interesting about it. So, first thing we're going to do is remove the power cable. It's really easy. Just in the back here. And you can see I have it all wrapped up. Getting to the good part now. This houses all the electronics, the vacuum motor, also has the charging pins. There's a window here for the infrared emitter, so it helps the robot line up to its charger. And guess what? This thing has literally three filters. Look at this. Here's the primary filter. It's what, uh, I don't think it's washable, but you can easily just vacuum out the dirt and they recommend you clean this out every month or so. Hold on, and hold look. on. Let me see if there's some Lucky Charms down in that hole there. I know there is some. Let me uh, check. Let me hold on. Sparkles. Wait. Yep, I think I see something. Oh, okay. Now I'm um, stuck. Help! Lucky Help! Let me out of here. Now, let me out. Help me. What the heck, man? You said you're going to give me some Lucky Charms. I quit. Uh, I'll get you some later, okay? Just hold on tight. Well, you better or I'll make you disappear. You hear that, guys? He promised I would give me uh, Lucky no, Charms. I'm sorry, he's very disappointing me. I did promise him some Lucky Charms, but I have to get this video done. Okay, so, there's also another filth down here. You guys see that? And now, once you get past that filter, there's the motor housing. Uh, one thing I noticed is there's nothing that prevents the dirt from going into the motor housing besides the two filters. So I would say that if you forget these two filters, you could damage the vacuum motor. Okay, so one thing I do like is on the Roomba series, if you notice down in there, there's like a little wire mesh or net. This prevents the dirt from getting down into the motor housing. Let's say you took out the filters and you clean them up and you somehow forgot to put these things back and you put the bin back in. Well, there may run a risk where dirt gets down in there. There's no mesh or anything to prevent it. So that's one flaw I can see. You can easily forget the filters and possibly ruin it. Okay, looks like you need a long handle T torque style T15 screwdriver. Oh, thank you, Sparkles. That's good to know. Do you mind uh, giving me a screwdriver? Really? I can do everything? Oh, wow. Thanks. So, yes, Sparkles says this is a torque T15 size head. And he also said he needed a long one to get down in below. Because I guess he knows that there's four screws up top 
And then after you remove this silver covering, there's another four screws. Thanks, there's Sparkles. actually eight below, but you don't listen. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy opened up for you. Whoa, watch the face, bud. Okay, that was easy. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Please like and subscribe because he's desperate for attention. Before we take off the top part, I do want to show that there's another filter right here. So this just comes apart, and there you go. This is the inlet for the motor, and it looks like your traditional filter with the little fans. Okay, you guys ready? Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Oh, uh, you forgot two screws, but I wouldn't know. I'm just a magical oh, unicorn. Looks like we got six screws. Uh, can I get my lucky charms now? Okay, Momo Truth, let's see what's inside. Let's get you guys up close. Okay, let's have a look at this setup. Yep, the wires are neatly laid out. We got this physical knobby thing. Let me just bounce on it. Yep, looks pretty cool. Uh, let's look at the motor here. Looks really nicely insulated. We got nice tracing, and I like the circuit board. And I'm gonna keep bouncing on this black knobby thing. Like what Sparkle says, you got your motor housing, you got your control board. It looks like you have a physical mechanical switch to let the system know that yes, you did put the bin back in. And this is your LED light. All right, let's see if we can just start taking this stuff off. Uh, do you know what you're doing? You gotta remove the wires from the tracing, then you can access the single screw that holds the plastic housing. So, it looks like inside, they're using Phillips heads. Hey, did you know that Phillips screws are designed so you can't over torque them? Well, did you just drop a screw? Hope you remember to grab that or you can damage your motor. You have to remove the plastic housing before you can remove the motor. Maybe if you pull really hard, it will come apart. Or I can just use my magical unicorn skills and have this done in 0.2 seconds for you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we took out the three screws here, and I'll take the screw, looks like from here, and we'll move this plastic housing. Uh, it sounds like you're stripping the Phillips screw. Are you breaking it? Okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and get these wires away from the traces. I would check out Nathan's M6 teardown video. That wire job was a mess. Okay. So one thing that's giving me trouble is this wire right here. Give me trouble is this two power cables right here. All I have to do is take a flathead and just gently pry up. Okay, so here's the mini transformer, takes the 120 and it probably steps it down to the suitable voltage. You can see the little caution symbol saying high voltage. So one thing I will note is on the Roomba self-emptying bin, the vacuum motor is actually 100 volts where most vacuum motors run at 120 like the Bissell and any upright vacuum. So it was an odd design choice that they chose 100 volts versus 120 but we'll check out the nameplate of this motor so it looks like you removed all three screws from the motor okay, all right, so remove it. yes i'm gonna go ahead and get this opened up he, he's very excited you want to see what this motor is all about not really just want to get my lucky charms after you're done filming there you go guys that was actually pretty easy and i put a couple screws down here as well check to see if there's any lucky charms down in there as well Okay, so before we uh, look at the nameplate of the motors, you notice this control board right there? That's actually for the infrared emitters. There's actually one there and one there. And that's basically it. You just got your open housing. But we'll definitely look underneath the self-emptying bin as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the two sizes. So the one on my left hand or on your right side is the Shark IQ's vacuum motor. 
and then the one on my right side or your left is the Roomba self emptying motor. Alright, so just from looking at it, they're about the same size. Keep in mind that this has a housing. Actually, we'll take that out for you guys if I can. So one thing I would say is that the Shark IQ does do a better job insulating. It's quieter than on the Roomba self emptying bin. Okay, so here's the opening of the motor. I think there's a nameplate probably down in the side here, but I can't really access it because of the covering. And unfortunately, since there's a bunch of wires, I don't want to get too deep in here or I won't be able to put it back together properly, especially the way they wrap out the insulation. But for this guy, the nameplate, you guys can see right here, it's a Panasonic motor and it's at 100 volts, 50 or 60 hertz. Okay guys, so here's the look of the two self-emptying bins, the Shark IQ and the Roomba S9 Plus. Uh, one thing I will say is, on Shark's website, you can only buy the robot with it or without. They actually currently don't sell just the bin itself, but if you look, the Shark IQ without the bin is for uh, $349, then with this $449, so about $100 difference. So I suspect this is how much the bin is, about $100. Whereas you could buy the Roomba separately for $349. But just from what I've looked at, uh, they both have very similar components. Uh, they have charging contacts, they have an infrared window here, emitters and receivers to help the robot line up to these charging pins. They also have a transformer to help step down the voltage. Uh, on the Roomba, the motor is 100 volts. One thing to note is this guy has a better suction because there's less travel, only has to go from here up to here, whereas on Roomba, has to go from there all the way around up to the bin. So yes, it's definitely a longer travel on the Roomba. Now, here's the control board. Give you guys a quick look of that. And you notice the infrared transmitter and the receiver right there. This is called the Archon sensor. And one thing I did notice is this little tube is a pressure sensor, so the bin knows if it lost pressure or not. It will give you a warning if there's a loss of pressure. All it does is it mounts right here, just like that. Um, they're about the same. They both have charging contact springs for both the negative and positive. You can see that. And this allows the robot to dock up with this little charging contacts and charge up. Uh, here's the vacuum motor right here for the Shark IQ. And the vacuum motor for this guy sits up down here. So for the room, the airflow goes up through here and around. Whereas on the Shark IQ, the airflow comes this way up through and down into the motor housing. All right, let's go ahead and get these guys flipped around. Oh wow, look at this mess. I wish I had a magical unicorn that could just instantly fix it. Hey, uh, Sparkles, mind doing that? I better get my lucky charm now. One, two, three. Wow, I knew you could do it, Sparkles. Thanks so much. Well, if you like this type of video, please smash the like button. If you're new to my channel, welcome. This is Nathan. As you can clearly see, I do a lot of crazy testing, unboxings, Tear downs, tear ups. I like your new vacuums every month or so. You guys have a great rest of your day. Be safe out there. See you next time. Come on, Sparkles, let's go. I'm keeping my lucky charms, right? Right?